In this video, we are going to cover the exercise number 11 in chapter 2. The question goes as follows. Suppose you are interested in estimating the effect of hours spent in the SAT preparation course. The name of the variable is hours. On a total SAT score, SAT, the population is of all college-bound high school seniors for a particular, particular year. So you're given a grant to run a control experiment and you want to structure the experiment in order to estimate the causal, so causal here is important, effect of hours on SAT. So you got this money, you have to design the experiment, what do you do? So usually for experiment, what you want to do is randomly assign the hours. Why do we want to do that? By randomly assigning the hours, we are making sure that they stay independent of other variables that might affect the SAT scores. So what we look to have here is this condition satisfied. This must be equal to zero. So if we have independence, of course, we will have this uh, condition satisfied. We will have a linear independence here. And if we want accuracy in the estimation, something important must happen. We need as much variation as possible in hours. So don't just select randomly people and give them 10 hours each. You have to select randomly people and give them uh, random numbers or very varied um, number of hours, 1, 10, 20, etc. In part B, we consider the more realistic case where students choose themselves how much time they want to spend in the preparation course. So we cannot force them not to take the course and we cannot force them to take the course either. We can only randomly sample SAT and hours from the population and the model is a very standard model. SAT equals beta zero plus beta one hours plus U. Um, as usual, we have the expectation of u equals zero, and we need to find two factors that are contained in u, so that are not included in the model directly, and we have to check if they are likely to have a positive or a negative correlation with ours. So you can find a very broad range of factors that are correlated with ours. I'm just getting some examples here. The first examples, example that's a fairly common one is ability. So ability is something that likely that is likely not measurable. You can't give a number, say, oh, his ability is 10 or 5. You, have, you can have variables to approximate it, like IQ or grades before, but ability itself is hard to measure. How would ability relate to ours? Well, we can argue that someone who has a high ability would not need to spend too much time in preparation, so they will just prepare a little bit and in order to get a good SAT score. So the correlation or the covariance between ability and hours is expected to be um, negative as better ability requires less hours. Another factor that could affect, uh, that could be correlated with a number of hours will be family income. And the family income, if you have more money, you will probably like to spend it on this preparation course. So more income means more hours in the preparation course. So the covariance between income and hours 
should be positive. So if you have this question in an exam, you can find several other factors. Just make sure you explain clearly why you think the covariance is positive or the covariance is negative. Finally, I'm going to do question C and D together. For question C, they ask you in the equation from part B that I just rewrote here, um, what should be the sign of beta 1 if the preparation course is effective? So if we take more hours in the preparation course, we should expect our SAT score to be higher. So we would like beta 1 to be positive, of course. So we expect beta 1 greater than 0. And in the equation from part B, what is the interpretation of beta 0? So we see that beta 0 is a value of SAT when hours equal zero, when there is no preparation. And that's a situation that's likely to happen. So the value of beta zero is the expectation of the SAT score when we know that X, or I should call it hours, equals zero. And that is because the expectation of u is also zero. So this interpretation is important. We have the number or the average SAT score when we have no preparation. And then we expect this score to rise as hours increase.